oh that was stuck in there really good well they don't even know what's about to happen but i do and uh, hope you guys are ready for it i'm very excited and i'm all my wife is excited to get these bison out here on this green grass and uh for the first time on this pasture there will be bison all right they're ready to go big joe sitting here waiting they are uh, are very excited <laughs> I say they're very excited. I think I'm the excited one. Um, so these guys, these guys, they uh, saw me with my truck down here, and they always know I've got cubes or something good is happening. So I just, uh, I'm, I'm nervous about uh, letting these guys out. <laughs> Anytime you let them out in a new pasture, see, he's already, open, he's ready to open the gate. He's ready to go. Um, anytime that you uh, let your bison in a new pasture that they've never been on, it makes you kind of nervous and every time we move them in a pasture it's a big deal it's a big deal to me and i hope it's a big deal to you guys because this is so important um, there's a lot of work that goes into this and uh, i hope that you appreciate that because i'm not the only one i'm about that big on this entire bison industry um, and there's a lot of guys out there that are building miles of fence for these animals in rough places and i'm just that big on the whole scale so what you see is just minuscule of what goes on to raise these awesome animals and uh, I appreciate you guys following along with me on this entire journey and I know they're only going in a 20 acre pasture <laughs> but it's a big deal uh, it's a big deal to me and my wife and um, so I just want to share that with you and I'm glad you guys could be part of this without further ado let's let these guys in pasture to their new pasture for the first time here we go come on come on Every time that we move the bison to a new pasture, after we get it ready, we're gonna do that for you. We're gonna bring you along on that, and what a cool experience. And speaking of that bird right there, um, that I believe is a cattle egret, and he's probably flying over there to hang out with them. How neat is that? Within three or four minutes of the bison running around, a cattle egret shows up, and uh, those cattle egrets are uh, just part of this whole ecosystem. And um, I love seeing animals like that, uh, where the bison fit into this entire um, system right here. And I love that, and that's just nature right there. I love that um, the bison just fits that entire mold of, of mother nature and being here for, for hundreds of years. And uh, that is an awesome sight to see that out there. And hopefully you get to see more bird species I'm kind of a ornithology guy, and I love uh, I love birds, believe it or not. So um, these guys will be next right here. I'm letting them out here into our kind of a trapper front area. I just let them come out here and graze this down. Uh, these guys will be headed out to pasture one, which is where Big Joe and them came from. We're going to give it some, some time to recover and um, because Big Joe and them have been on it. So we'll keep these calves up close to us for now which is where they've been and then we'll let them out into the pasture and get them some green grass as well so i know i only have nine adults out here with the big joe herd but um you know i just get excited every time that i let them out so caught a special moment um for me and marissa and uh just across timber's bison family i know you're jealous you'll be out there soon all right all right i'll let you out you can hang out, it's fine. Don't be a problem. You guys be good. 